Trading View Demo. Hello, my friend. How is going on? Hopefully, doing all right. As always, Kamam Liams over here in this channel. Uh, we talk about uh, everything forex related, um, affiliate marketing, time to time, uh, traffic generation, and stuff like this. So, if you uh, if you're interested in stuff in this uh, nature, please consider subscribing to my channel, activate the bell icon. So each time I release one video. Uh, you'll be the first one to watch and then uh, benefit uh, of them. And then um, in this video, uh, really, because um, I, I felt like um, I, you know, I share videos about my trades and about uh, the way I, let's say, win and loss and, you know, uh, other stuff and, you know, fire spots and stuff. And then I kind of, you know, uh, dismiss the basics of uh, trading, which um, I assume a lot of you guys already watched tons of other videos on YouTube. That's what I do, but it would be nice if I back it up as well myself and then have them uh, on my channel as, I don't know, a series of videos talking about the basis of trades, uh, the terminologies of, let's say, pips and other stuff, and then the, the graph patterns and then help you guys as well off of my channel from myself what i learned along the way along the way of my forex journey uh you know show it to you as well guys so it will be a reminder not teaching you because there are tons of uh, you know videos on youtube anyway so again i assume you're already watching the other videos and from other youtube channels or you already watched tons of them anyway so with that said guys I just want to be me and you know uh, show you what I learned as well so take it like that okay so in this video obviously we're gonna you know see what is trading view and then what uh, what it can uh, you know uh, do for us as much as I learn obviously uh, anyone's you know opinion is different and you know review reviewing style is different so you're gonna see mine again so obviously the trading view, um, you know, if you go tradingview.com, mine is UK, you know, dot tradingview.com. Obviously you're gonna uh, find yourself over here and then you're gonna sign in, uh, I mean sign up and then have your own specific setup. Uh, whether you want to go pro or, you know, free, uh, I'm I'm still in free and I don't need to you know pay whatever they they offer as pro because I'm absolutely fine with the limits I have. Uh, the only difference so far I noticed is in terms of you know replaying option over here, you cannot do it uh, you know lower than an hour. So all you can do is you know replaying in one hour time frame. If you want, let's say five minutes, fifteen minutes, you got to you know upgrade your version to pro. Or if you want to you know add uh, multiple, I mean more than three indicators, you have to you know upgrade. Rather than that, everything else is absolutely fitted in a free version, which I have, and many of people are using free version, so they're absolutely fine. Okay, with that said, let's see what we have. Um, top top left, we're gonna see where it shows. Uh, you know, we can uh, I mean, you know uh, make a new layout. Our layout, you can see uh, every ten minutes auto save, so it saves it, save the data. I assume, and then you can share. So if I do this, everyone with the link can view and copy whatever you have over here. You can rename, you can make copy, you can export chart data. This is obviously the account name. You see, take free trial. And then you have profile, profile setting and stuff. And then over here, you can toggle <coughs> this option and then change the, let's say, interface color, dim, dim color to uh, white. So we're gonna toggle it. <coughs> yeah, you see? It's kind of, you know, funny with eyes if it's white. So I prefer the black one. Yeah, more calming and stuff. So drawing panel. So if I, no, stay, stay black. Yeah. 
What's this one? Let's see what this one does. Drawing panel. Yeah, let's keep this on. Anyway, so the language is English and keyboard shortcuts sign out if you want. Uh, what languages they have? They have English, Dutch, I assume that's German, French, Spanish, Spanish Itali Italian, Polish, mm, I don't know where that Swensk is, uh, Turkish, uh, okay, so other languages, Portuguese, and I don't know about rest. And then, yeah, and then uh, at the top, at the top we can, you know, choose the pairs we want. So let's say, um, Australian dollar JPY Japanese yen. So if I would say um, New Zealand dollar, so it's gonna pull up that pair for me. So Australian dollar versus New Zealand dollar. So Australian dollar would be the major, the base, and that would be I don't know if I call it. So we're gonna see uh, you know the strengths or the weakness. Um, you know Australian has against New Zealand dollar, and then you know. Uh, trade accordingly with the chart pattern and stuff, which I, um, which I'm really learning myself. I'm gonna be honest. As always, transparency is the best thing. And um, as I learn, I'm gonna you know make videos about what I learn and then put it out there on my channel. So anyone who can watch videos at least get some benefit. So over here, what we can do? Okay, say so, uh, first of all, we chose a pair. And then we can uh, see that you know price movement drop, uh, you know price drop, pr uh, price push up, in you know various time frames. So we can go all the way from ranges. I never tried ranges. So if I say ten range, I don't know what range means. Really, let's see what would be. Yeah, that that's the range. I don't know what that is. Anyway, ten R. But then um, very. You know kind of obvious one would be from months one month backward we can you know do it like months and we see we're gonna have so each candlestick represents a month of you know price move on that pair I see guys and then we can change it to obviously week day four hours an hour let's let's go back to an hour and then uh, that's how i learn to do it so if i want to you know analyze you know some price action or whatever uh like let's say you know mess with this as my technical analysis 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 i always you know check uh, you know day four hours and an hour and then i decide to you know uh, whether buy or sell uh, the specific thing in 50 minutes so at, at the moment now here um, we can because it's uh, it's forming a thing uh, this is one of the patterns so obviously I would make a, you know f uh, future videos about them this is like shoulder head and shoulder maybe so I can say price is dropping down, but how much is uh, you know dropped? Uh, it's gonna drop down. So we can just say uh, yeah, it's gonna drop down anyway. So uh, that was about the uh, time frame, and then about the you know the actual you know uh, standpoint. How we're gonna see uh, you know the price moves. Um, how how we're gonna show it? How we're gonna see it? So you want to see it by bars? You see there are bars, and then do you want to see it with candles? My favorite candles. Do we want to see it as hollow candles? You know they got kind of hollow around them, outline. And uh, do you want to see it as hekaniashi? Uh, or do you want to see it as line? Do, do we want to see it as area? This reminds me of uh, binary option or that, or baseline. So to me, I got used to, so my eyes kind of, you know, got used to candle, aloe candles. So I'm gonna go with candles. 
that's how I do it. So you can mess, uh, you can mess with these, uh, you know, variables and see how we're gonna, you know, see it better for you know eyes and for per your preference. And then um, compare at or at symbols. So over here you could you know compare, let's say, uh, compare that to compare Australian do uh, dollar versus New Zealand dollar. Compare it to let's say. USD, uh, Great British Pound. So it's going to show you kind of in comparison how things are. I would say this is USD, Great British Pound, and the other one is Australian dollar. So it might help you in future. Um, I don't know how advanced you are. I'm not that advanced at all. I'm near. I'm not near to this kind of thing to see. Okay, over here is this, and uh, you know, I kind of you know say compare them and then uh, for my advantage say okay, so shall I buy, shall I sell, or whatever, or shall I just not uh, trade? And that's uh, what it is over there. Okay, what I did, I did Control Z to you know kind of. Yeah, go back like undo it and then get rid of it or you could do over here and do control Z or uh, redo control Y and uh, fundamental metrics for stocks as well so they have this option over here and never touch this uh, you can you can try to see how it works and uh, indicator templates uh, you would get some templates over here you could use and uh, create alert if you want this alert uh, would come handy let's say uh, you're busy uh, you know uh, let's say midnight or early morning you check your you know chart and stuff and then you see oh a price comes here let's say if if let's say you saw this you saw this and then you wanted to you know have such you know pattern to be you know uh, shaped and actually so you would have the shoulder and head shoulder so you say if price comes here to this point from here to here um, you know let me know uh, by some alert so you could uh, be notified and then uh, you know let's say put the short position over here that's what that's what I you know I would say price goes so because we have uh, shoulder head shoulder here now ish price would likely drop but i don't know how how much it's gonna drop but it's gonna drop i would say yeah that's that's what the, this option is for this is like um, you can uh, you can create your own menu let's say if i uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna talk about this when i when i go to the left bar and then what else we have over here so you, you can select your layout obviously you're gonna be limited to just one this one if I was gonna let's say okay I'm gonna have two two let's say two um, two two charts in you know at the same time you're going to need a bigger monitor and um, your plan has one chart tab limit so if I was gonna have multiple lim uh, charts I need to upgrade my kind of membership or whatever and obviously this is uh, unnamed I can save it I can rename it I can copy it and uh, in settings you can uh, mess uh, mess with so many things including symbols you want color bar space uh, close body what colors you want your candlesticks it has to do with candlesticks and then status line so you can check everything over here um, scale symbol name label Symbol as price label, symbol previous day, close price label, intraday, intraday only. So you can do a lot of customization over here. How you want the, um, you know, the interface looks like your, you know, environment like your um, yeah, trading view environment looks like. Let's say I don't want these grades. Let's say vertical. I didn't want them, but I have them. Let's say if I change them here, you see they change to. And uh, if I call them dotted, dashed, dotted now. Mm. So if I don't want them, what I can do? Opacity is six uh, percent. So I'm gonna take it all the way to zero. So I wouldn't see them anymore, you see? Disappeared. If I take 
the opacity to all the way right to 100 percent you're gonna see obviously we have vertical lines over here but um, i don't want them because they just uh, make my uh, charting very hard and difficult and that makes it so messy so i got i got used to have the you know cleaner setup so i can read things better but i just want to show you how um, they would appear so over here as well i don't want this vertical grids either you see i'm gonna make them appear more well this can be a bit help more helpful so mm, no really because uh, you you don't get the same let's say same uh, levels of you know price movement and you know let's say resistance levels and support levels all the time the same so you better to not have it i'm just gonna drop the opacity to zero so i wouldn't have them yeah that's about that one and then trading uh, we have these you know options you can uh, miss weight and then events uh, we're gonna have this and you can change the templates if you want or save as template your own template and then use it for your specific pairs or whatever you can have that uh, at your arsenal so we're gonna say okay we're happy with how it is now and uh, we can have it full screen yeah that's like amazing great full screen look what will happen so let's say i was struggling with seeing this uh you know chart it was all you know just so squashed or so drugged what I'm doing is on my mouse, I'm, you know, just uh, zoom in and zoom out using the ruler. Uh, but if I would want to do it on this bar, you see, uh, we have uh, arrow over here, like two size arrow. So if I click, left click and then uh, move my mouse, you see, squashes the chart. So we can see the, you know, candles better so because they're squashed we can see them obviously better uh, without us needing uh, uh, to zoom in or zoom out so we have uh, such control over here as well and then so if I say let's say I had enough with this and then I want to go back to the original version so I cross so I take it all the way up I get this uh, cross and then I click on it and then here I am in the let's say uh, original format and then what else we have we have a uh, text snap over here let's say I made a I don't know made something over here or I just wanted to have a you know screenshot or snap I could just take a snap over here so if I say a snap ah, that's it either I'm gonna get a URL image URL I could I could use it I don't know online or I can save it on my computer by save image simple as that so over here I can uh, share your idea with the trade community you can publish what were you doing um, as your idea by you know dealing with the, this publish button I never done and uh, over here you see you could uh, have a template for yourself the specific pairs you would want to trade and nothing else just for yourself otherwise uh, by default you're gonna have tons of you know kind of nonsense pairs over here from commodity to indices to I don't know just uh, a mix a mixture of them but now what you can do like uh, come over here and then say add symbols over here let's say I want I want USD uh, USD uh, what USCCHF, I don't think I have it. And then I'm gonna add it over here, simple as that. So if I click it, at there, USCCHF should be somewhere here. Was it USCCHF, wasn't it? We're gonna do it again. USD CHF. USD CHF stands for United States dollar versus 
Swiss franc. Add to watch list. Yeah, so you see it over here. You don't click over here. That's what I noticed because I remember for the these ones I already uh, was struggling with, uh, you know, adding them. So I ended up, uh, you know, hitting this plus. So yeah, you get them over here, and then you have to, you know, click on plus so you would have them uh, in your watch list. Let's see, USCCHF over here, guys. So um, over here as well. I could just click on it and then that's it. So from here switches to that pair. Let's see price action and price moves over there. Yeah, that's it. So as I said, I could change. Uh, I can, you know, kind of zoom out, zoom in to see it the best way I could to I could see. And what else? So this 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 bit. Like you create your watch list with your preferred uh, pairs and that's it, clean and nice. Over here, what we have, watch list and details. So if I click on it, let's see what we get. What I got was having this, uh, let's say watch list disappeared and then uh, appeared again. What this timer is for. Alerts again. Uh, it's going to tell you about specific pairs, uh, if you define for it, you can say create alert, as I said, let's say if price got to this point, let me know, so I could, you know, place a sell over here, so I could make some money, I could do that, and then in news, if, if that's news, obviously I think it's news, yeah, you, you can have headlines for USDCHF, uh, you know, related news maybe, over here data windows and I really don't use them at all I never touch them I just go through them for sake of this video being demonstration of trading view to see and show you what they are and then what you can do over here so over here is like LSE volume gainers whatever that is and calendar and then this is I think your opinion my ideas yeah my ideas and this is chatting with other people that's not gonna be me obviously you know wasting time chatting with people but it's over there anyway if you wanted to do other other than just waste time you know reading charts and improve my skills then chatting it's not my it's not my thing private chat if you want and ideas stream and other stuff so uh, i'm not really keen of this bit anyway as you see it's more about you know off things kind of things but over here, if I just close this, yeah. So over here, what we have in left bar. So left bar, if I hover over and then, you know, let's say click then, click and hold it, or left click, we can change the closer to, uh, you know, appearing as cross, dot, arrow, or we can erase. So if I erase, let's see, I never erase something. So I change it to erase. It's not reading anything. Let me draw a line. So if I go back to arrays, let's see if it's gonna erase it or not. Well, it didn't work, but that option is over there. So I'm gonna just have it as arrow. And uh, in, in let's say trend line section, we have tons of options. I always or I have been only using trend line. I haven't used any other, you know, uh, options over here. You have info line, we have trend angle, we have anchor BWAP, horizontal line, horizontal lay. I think these horizontal lines would help as well. Let's say if I choose this one and I want to have this as a level. Yeah, so now I have it like, like for infinities, like, extended from both sides uh, that would be a level for me if I would want to have another one so I would choose where price uh, most um, you know mostly has touched and tried in different you know times so if I say it was here I could you know take it down take it up Obviously, this is another version of, let's say, the first 
uh, kind of manual trend line if I would call it manual so um, let's say I chose this one and then I want to have this level as well so I say this level but then you have to uh, you know determine end to end so I'm gonna draw it for you so I say here you see it's not exactly parallel with both and that's the different so I have one level two levels three level which could be my resistance and my support if I was gonna let's say uh, place a uh, sell over here I could target this and uh, below maybe in take profit one take profit two take profit three uh, along the way downward and uh, what else we have over here so if I go to pitchfork so in pitchfork <laughs> can you believe me guys even even for Fibonacci uh, Fibonacci retracement which is very very well known I I know but I don't use it because I try to use it I used it I didn't like it it was kind of you know uh, complex for me and then I didn't find any interest in it and then I stopped using it so with this option I have absolutely nothing to say I don't use it and this one like brushes and highlighter pass time to time is pass uh, I use rectangle a lot determining my you know levels as area rather than just line but then um, I could uh, you could use rotator rectangle you could use ellipse to see out uh, one touch here two, uh, two touch here one touch here like uh, showing the you know price touching point uh, you know let's say if, if you had um, a trend line you wanted to say okay it touched here it touched here you could use these to you know make things for yourself easier obviously you could use curve polyline double curve arc so many tools to use all these tools and options are here to easing your charting guys that's it you don't need to use all of them if you're only comfortable with using one line that's it you don't need any indicator you don't need anything but some people I uh, love to have tons of indicators here and there and, you know, signals and uh, to be honest with you guys, I found it much easier to have uh, less, you know, intervention and, you know, fake things going on inside your charts. Uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a guilty myself, but I'm saying the truth. So what is the reality for my case? The less indicators and stuff you have, the more you integrate yourself in terms of chart pattern and chart reading uh, the more successful you're going to be honestly that's what i noticed so far so i don't know i might be wrong but i keep you know integrating myself and i keep learning improving my skills and then i will uh, update you guys that's why uh, if you subscribe to my channel and activate the bell each time i you know release an, uh, an update you would uh, watch and then see if I was right or if I was wrong by the results I would get by you know seeing um, uh, seeing charts clean charts versus you know you know uh, one um, let's say one indicator going uh, here one indicator going here one indicator saying something one indicator saying something and then you just be confused and then <laughs> obviously you would end up losing the trade anyway and what else we have over here so we have t over here standing for text i never use this as well but you can use them text anchor text not um, signpost call out balloon uh, arrow up down and every directions guys um, the reason i just don't go and then explain everything over here because i first i didn't use them myself i don't use them myself uh second there's just too many to explain uh making this video way longer so the one of the you know option I use a lot is obviously long position and short position. That's it. So if I see an opportunity to sell, I go short. So let's say let's say this is gonna come down all the way here. Let's say let's say I did my analyze uh, technical technical analysis, and then I ended up thinking um, price is gonna drop. So I went here. Uh, short position I, I grabbed that like I clicked on it so I clicked on it it's already over there so and then I came here clicked again and then gave me this so where you see obviously 
how we're gonna you know uh, take profit in forex and you know trading is if you think uh, pr price like trend goes to your direction downward and you're selling you're gonna make money and profit that's why this area is green meaning profit this way this is red meaning loss and you don't want that but you're gonna have it in case uh, stopping you to lose uh, way more than what you could lose just because you uh, the trend didn't go in your favor and you know price didn't go in your favor but in my case here I think price is gonna drop okay and then I put I click to where the current price is with this dotted red one and then I dragged it all the way here so uh, there must be some you know uh, levels of resistance and support so you could um, you know kind of predict price would touch go there and then that could be your uh, take profit level let's say what, what it was here and then we could have it here let's see if I change this to horizontal line I would say here is our take profit okay oh there is another one so I have to delete this one okay so I drag this all the way here so it could be on that line okay and our risk to reward to ratio is really important guys so um, anything more than one to one is nice anything more than two is amazing honestly because I've seen it on my you know trades and other people trade whoever has the more accurate uh, higher risk reward ratio is the winner and you know getting richer simple as that so you have to get to that point be able to identify these you know opportunities with this massive risk reward issues yeah you have to be really targeted and uh, your entry point with must be really uh, a sniper really you know sharp it's really exact and then uh, obviously you're not gonna have your you know uh, stop loss that wide but just in case because sometimes you see price fluctuate all the time you know you don't want price goes here let's say that was the level you don't want price goes here and comes down and then goes slightly higher even one millimeter higher than that that's it you're going to lose the trade while the next move might be all the way down and then down and down and down so i found that if you slightly you know be kind of you know kind and then be wise to have a bit uh, you know wider and looser stop loss um, most of the time it would be uh, profitable because uh, a lot of these you know big institutes and you know companies and uh, you know with big uh, capital involved in this market would want you obviously to lose money and then they send you know wrong signals and wrong let's say candlestick which just uh, to lose you know let's say beginner uh, traders money that's it it happened to me so many times that's what I learned guys uh, don't think about oh have this just tiny bit or 10 pips or 20 pips no no just see where has been their most recent let's say if your direction is downward let's see which was the most green one like the highest green one obviously we're in uh, an hour so we see the recent one was this one which is way above that one so we're kind of very safe over here and then think about your take profit your take profit is almost four like risk risk ratio war issue is four if if again nothing is guaranteed if price you know after a while i don't know five minutes ten minutes an hour you know did a bit of you know move and then bang came here we're gonna you know profit this much which would be uh yeah almost 80 pips so i'm gonna as i said i'm gonna you know have more videos about this terminology is what i use what pip means so pip uh, basically means the the distance price travels from this point all the way to this point so price difference from this point to this point is like 80 pips for 80 pips based on the lot size we have on this trade let's say if, if i was going to go to my mt4 and then place this trade with these points over here Let's say if I was gonna place this trade, so if I just drag this a bit left, so we, we could read this price price point nicer. So I'm gonna click on it. You see, guys, I'm gonna show where this price is actually indicating. So this price at the moment is indicating 
uh, obviously this is my stop loss so nine, the 0 0.92186 would be my uh, uh, would be my stop loss and uh, my take profit would be again indicating over here this the green anything green is your favor is your money is your profit that's what you want to see all the time you don't want to see a lot of red a lot of red big red so the less and the smaller res you see, the better. Simple as that. Over here, uh, 0 0.9, 1 to 114. So the price difference between this one and the current one, which is 9.9 point point nine one nine nine eight, the price difference between that and this would be 79. Uh, let's say 79 pips. Then again, multiple by the last size you have, you're gonna determine if you win. If price drops here, you're gonna win that much profit. Simple as that in, in this trade. So it doesn't, it doesn't matter, let's say, you shouldn't mind how long would it take. That's how it is. So if it takes an hour, two hours, whatever, then leave it to go. All you need to do is improving your skills of reading the charts, uh, the most accurate. So that was about that. The opposite would be correct as well, guys, the same thing. So if you go long, which is buying, let's say if I was saying, oh, price is gonna go high, high up from here, let's say from this point on. So we're gonna click here, one click, it's gonna give us this option. And then our take profit would be all the way here to most recent, let's say, uh, green candle went up. And then our uh, take profit, uh, stop loss again, would be to the most recent price drop down. Let's say it was here. So we go slightly below that. So we have more, uh, you know, kind of safety for us. Again, risk reward ratio is 4.3. That's nice, amazing. So we're gonna, uh, this time, you're gonna have price going up. If it goes up to this point, you're gonna take your profit at uh, 0 0.921514. So that's how uh, you know trading works, guys. It's not really that compli complicated. It just uh, you know needs you to uh, you know learn this price action and you know chart patterns. What this means, let's say in this, uh, let's say again, um, if I just zoom in. You could even see if I call this, if I call this uh, one one shoulder head kind of weird head, and then shoulder you see price dropped, price dropped all the way here. Uh, for that we're gonna see now. Oh, this is like we have some option over here, emoji. I don't know what you can do with emoji. Uh, you can put stuff like this. I don't know, a flag. Let's say I put a flag here. So I say a flag here. Yeah. So that flag means, oh, this is a nice entry point, maybe. Remember guys, I have no uh, indicator at the moment. It's just me going absolutely, uh, just relying on my own knowledge, what I learned. That's it, so it's called naked chart. It's just me and just some uh, lines and that's it. But again, so many people uh, used to use tons of indicators and I'm a guilty of my uh, of them myself, and then most of the time they they just make me lose the trade. Uh, that's my that's what my advice is. But I'm just gonna give you the you know uh, show you the options and then uh, leave it to yourself, guys. So let's say at this point uh, we have the line over here, okay? When price you know kind of broke that line, we're gonna say okay, it's gonna go down anyway, and then we have one confirmation over here, like shoulder hit shoulder and then the second confirmation would be our ah, price kind of broke this level okay then we're gonna put our um, short again our short position here and then look how much we would made and then let's see so the most recent uh, green was this one. So we're gonna take the stop loss slightly above the most recent uh, green candle, where the green candle finishes, like closes. So let's say it was here. So risk reward ratio is two, two, how much is it? 
2.18 so 2.18 it gives us this bit it gives us it gives us 52.8 almost 53 uh, pips which is which is great I'm um, I'm absolutely be happy with 50 or 20 or whatever pips as long as uh, I'm making a profit it doesn't matter if it's like 50 50 pips or 5,000 pips <laughs> it doesn't matter so that's about that um, and then what else okay so let's say if I don't if I didn't have the you know pricing thing I could go to this ruler and then check how much would have been if I would have entered over here, entered the sell position all the way here. So remember guys, if we were selling, we may, we taking profit, we're making money downward, selling downward, price dropping, we make sell, uh, we make sell and then we, we take profit. Um, opposite, if we, if you're buying, we're making money, we're making profit by uh, buying, uh, we, we're going long, we're buying. So we go up as price goes up, we make money so we buy around here and then we make money we sell around here if we could the sooner obviously you do but then you would have less confirmation uh, and then you would be more gamble then but uh, let's say if i was gonna sell over here let's see how much i would have you know make so i'm gonna uh, click over there and then one here obviously it would be more you know more of pips so we would have 80 pips, as you see, 80 pips versus 52 pips uh, from this, you know, let's say, line. If I call it, uh, if I call it uh, resistant line, uh, broken, uh, you know, a structure broken uh, line was 50. So from here to down was 50 versus from all the way up to here was 80. Obviously, the more pips you get, in your direction the more money you're gonna make simple as that so what else so we have this zoom in I don't use it here but you can obviously click and zoom in or zoom out so if I do yeah and uh, we have this magnet I never use it you can check it out guys yeah that's it so that's it guys so in future I would uh, be making you know more tutorial videos about what I learned and what I be learning I would make tutorial videos of them and then show you guys my you know my achievement my learnings and keep you updated so hopefully you get tiny bit of benefit from my videos as well if that would be the case if you already you know get something um, you know some benefit out of this video please consider subscribing to my channel activate the bell give your like dislike and then give your reason why you uh, give like or dislike additionally if you were interested in uh, any of my uh, forex bot or robot or eas i used at past and at the moment i'm trying again um, on some pairs but my major focus is me train uh, trading manually and then improving my uh, manual trading skills that's my main focus but then um, in background and behind the scene I keep uh, you know testing those bots I have again I'm not you know counting on them but they're over there if you were interested in using them and then have them um, all you need to do is you know subscribe to my channel activate the bell introduce uh, introduce yourself which country you're from and then you would have a chance to win uh, a copy of any of those but you see uh, you you can see them uh, inside my previous videos you can check them out and then have the chance to win a copy of them uh, every week but that's it guys have a nice time and then i will see you in the next one bye